Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another Benu pen on loan for review. And this pen has been loaned to me by Derek at Stonecot Fine Writing Supplies. So I'd like to thank Derek for loaning me this pen for review. This is the Benu Scepter and it's number 6. And you can see here it's got a broad nib on it. So I think let's open the box you'll see here that you get a pen pouch you also get a long international cartridge you'll get a Banu care guide which is concertinaed together trying to escape my hands and then you have a bed of shredded paper and if I remove the pen from this pen pouch you will see here this is quite a beautiful pen so this is the Banu Scepter number six and I really do like this pen a lot so this pen was loaned to me initially by Derek at Stonecot Fine Writing Supplies I have been writing with it for just over a week and I then decided that I would buy this pen because I am really liking this pen and I think that's a testament to to how much you think of a pen if you have a pen on loan and then you decide to go and buy it so I'd like to thank Derek for not only loaning me this pen for review but also allowing me to actually buy the pen after that as well so this is quite a nice pen it's a scepter so it's shaped in terms of a scepter a wand uh, you can see here it has a finial with like a diamond sort of uh, sort of uh, point there where all the facets come together. The pen itself is faceted, so you'll see here that the the cap actually tapers out to the point here, and it tapers back into what is the centre band of the cap, which says Banu, and then the body tapers back out again to what is the what would be the end cap with another almost like a diamond facet going on there so this pen really is quite nice and i love the silver and the gold effect going on here in this pen so for me i like this i like it doesn't have a clip i like also that it doesn't roll around on the desk that easily and it will stop as well and I like the glitter inside this pen body now unscrewing the cap you will see here it says number five size Schmidt nib and this is a broad nib as I mentioned um, this does come with a plastic feed it does have a very thin section here which typically I don't like on pens however I'm finding that although I can write with it like this I am starting to write with it more higher up on the threads here which I don't really feel although there is a bit of a step down here that you can see but for me I still find that this sits comfortably in the crook of my hand and I can write with it without any problem at all. I typically like a number six size nib, a larger nib because it's, I find it sometimes easier to control, it's easier to see when you're writing. This is a number five size nib but to be honest I have not had any issues with this nib writing with and I do actually have a number of uh, number five size nibs in my collection. And again, I don't have any problems with those either. So if I unscrew the body here, you will see that it comes with an international standard converter. And this is a Schmidt converter. And if I screw that back on again, they are very easy to clean. And you'll see here, though, in the sides of my hand, this is a very comfortable pen. Now you cannot post the caps and they're not designed to do so. So if you are a cap poster, then just be aware of that before purchasing any of the scepters or the grand scepters. If you want a larger number six size nib, then you could go for the Banu Grand Scepter, which has a number six size nib. It also has a slightly wider diameter section to accommodate that number six size nib. 
Uh, however, though, the rest of the dimensions of the pen are identical. So I think with that, let's do a size check. We'll do a weight check. We'll do a pen comparison, and then we'll do a writing sample. So the full length of the pen, we are looking about 134 millimeters in length. The length of the cap is around 61, 62 millimeters in length. And you'll notice if I put this pen down, it's not going to roll because of the facets. And if I do a check on the length of the pen, we are looking around about, let's see here, about 124, 122 maybe, 123 millimeters in length. So it is quite a short pen, and I typically do prefer pens around about 130 millimeters in length or larger. But like I said, I'm not having any issues with the length of this pen. So a full weight of the pen, we're looking at just under 26 grams in weight. The weight of the cap, we are looking at just under seven and a half grams. And in the weight of the pen, uninked, we are looking at just under 18 and a half grams. So that is a light pen. And so if you do like light pens, then you may like the Banu pens, especially if you do like these kind of patterns and, and glitter in pens as well. Now this glitter isn't rough. It's actually polished or lacquered over, over the top. So you cannot feel that. And you can see the way that the light reflects on my studio lights there. It is a glossy pen. So I think with that, let's do a comparison with other pens. So from left to right, we have a Visconti Kalido Voyager in the Yellow Dawn, a Visconti Brunelleschi, a Visconti Medici, an Atelier Lusso Carina in the Diamond Nebula. We have a Banu Scepter number no. six. We have an Atelier Lusso Andromeda in the King Cobra, an Atelier Lusso Andromeda in the Dragon. We have a Scribo 2 in the Noble Green, a Scribo 2 in the Cardinal Red, and then a Scribo Phil in the Verde Bosco. So, I think let's do a writing sample. So, this is the Banu Scepter, and this is the number 6, and this is a broad nib, and it's also a still nib. And the ink in here today is a Shimatastic ink. It's Diamine Shimatastic and it is Moondust, which is a lovely glittery silver ink. And then in terms of line variation, this is a broad nib. So that is putting down a little bit more of a broad line if I apply more pressure, I can get a little bit line variation out of it, but not a lot, because it is a steel nib. But there's your figure of eights. And then also I will do some more line variation, so you can just see that this isn't hard starting or skipping. In terms of ink wetness or nib wetness, let's have a look. So this is a quite a wet nib, but it's not a fire hose nib. And I typically find that of Schmidt nibs. And this is a Schmidt nib in the Banu. It's not a fire hose nib. So you should be able to write with it in a journal or notebook and, and change or turn the page over. And that should work quite nicely. And what do I like and what do I not like about these pens? Well, I like the shape. I like the size. I like the scepter um, design of the pen. And I do like the glitter in it as well. I do like it's got a very shiny, gloss-like finish to it. The only thing I don't like really is maybe the number five size nibs. You can go for a grand scepter, which has a number six size nib. The 
rest of the dimensions of the pen are identical though so you won't find any really other difference other than maybe the section being slightly wider in diameter near the nib but saying that I actually do like this with a number five size nib and I've been writing with it for over a week now and I really like it and I like it as much to actually say to Derek at Stonecot Fine Writing Supplies that I want to buy this pen and I have now given Derek the money for this pen. So I'd like to thank Derek initially for loaning me this pen for review which I have now purchased. You can check Derek out at his website at Stonecot Fine Writing Supplies and also at Stonecot Fine Writing Supplies on Instagram as well. So again I'd like to thank Derek for initially the loan of this pen for review. And that's my review of the Benu Scepter number no. 6. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.